My name is John Brennan. I'm the director of the Central Intelligence Agency of the United States of America. The wanton slaughter of civilians that both the Syrians and the Russians are responsible for is nothing short of outrageous. The Russians and the Syrians have taken advantage of any pauses in fighting to advance their position on the battlefield. Uh, they've been disingenuous uh, in many of their uh, negotiating uh, tactics. Uh, so I do not have confidence that the Russians are going to relent until they are able to achieve as much tactical battlefield successes as possible in order to give them what they want. Russia is a, is a country that will pursue its national interests uh, frequently to the, the detriment of the interests of the peoples of the countries wherein it operates. So I think uh, uh, President-elect Trump and the new administration need to be wary of uh, Russian promises. Russian promises, in my mind, have uh, not given us what it is that uh, they have pledged. I think it would be disastrous. It really would. Um, first of all, for uh, one administration to tear up an agreement that a previous administration made would be almost unprecedented. And then it could lead to a, a weapons program inside of Iran uh, that could lead other states in the region to embark on their own programs. So I think it would be the height of folly if uh, the next administration were to tear up that agreement. I truly hope that the next administration understands their obligations, their responsibilities, when they have this, these capabilities. If it's used uh, and misused uh, in ways that increase the number of, of deaths as well as increases resentment against the United States, it will not be beneficial to our national security interests it will be counterproductive. I do think that the new team needs to be disciplined in the language that they use, the messages that they send, because uh, if they're not disciplined, uh, th their language will be exploited by uh, the terrorist and extremist organizations as a way to um, portray the United States and the government as being uh, anti-Islamic and we're not.